Hello guys, welcome to TechEV.com, your solution providers. My name is Jack and today I will teach you a very quick and easy way to remove a background and add another uh, when in the photo we have uh, the element over here that we want to leave intact. Uh, notice that in this photo we cannot use the pen tool uh, because the hair is um, very detailed and uh, it's impossible to make such a precise uh, selection. So what we do is uh, we uh, hit L on our keyboard it's the shortcut for the lasso tool and we select the area that we want to keep it doesn't have to be a great selection just you know quick selection around the hair just to make sure that uh, we get most of the details I'm sorry I I missed something over here and I have to make a little circle over here so there we go and now we either right click and go to refine edge or click this button over here refine edge and uh, this is the refine edge window where you can play with the edge detection and uh, by playing with all those attributes over here uh, and adjusting the edge you can get a great result I'm going to uh, max up the radius you can already see uh, the result over here and uh, look at this it, it's just uh, a wonderful easy job done easily and uh, I will turn up the smooth maybe and the feather not that much and uh, maybe I will uh, lower the shift edge or not that much I guess so all those attributes are on your own uh, likes and interests uh, I prefer uh, more and more uh, raw uh, transition over here so we'll, I would click OK ok that's great now we right click and uh, go to layer via copy and this is it this is our selection ok now to uh, to place another background we create a new layer and uh, in this layer we uh, give the background that we want it could be a color, it could be a different picture anything you like and we have to get the background under the layer 1 so there, here we go now notice that uh, we still have uh, a few elements that give away the, that this is a fake photo so the trick here is to put a background uh, that is uh, that fits with the background color that we had before so we had a gray color uh, you don't want to put a background that is uh, too dark or too light something in the middle so maybe uh, something like uh, white or uh, a darker white but not gray or maybe even um, a light blue a very very light blue see you can hardly tell the difference that's the trick and of course uh, for more sophisticated photoshoppers out there you can also use um, different backgrounds uh, custom backgrounds made by you and uh, it, it, but then you still have to make sure that um, you don't get the, those details given away so that, that's it guys this is the most easy and quick way to remove a background while keeping all the hair intact thank you for watching um, if you have any questions leave a comment and I will do my best to reply
visit techiv.com for more tricks and tips and until the next time take care